How does GPS work? Many times I've heard people talking about GPS and they'll say things that make me think that they're under the impression that their GPS unit is communicating with the satellites overhead. That the satellites somehow figure out where you are and then tell you your location. How do satellites track your position? Well, they don't. That's not how GPS works. The satellites don't know where you are. Your GPS doesn't transmit anything. It figures out where you are by using something called trilateration. This as opposed to triangulation, which involves angles. It figures out where you are by knowing your distance to four or more satellites. How does it know your distance to the satellites? First, it needs to know where the satellites are. Each satellite is continuously broadcasting the orbital elements of all the satellites. Once you know the orbital elements of a satellite, then you know its position as a function of time. As you might imagine, time is very critical. So each GPS has its own very own expensive, very accurate atomic clock. And it's constantly broadcasting the time. Imagine it saying, at the beep, the time will be 12.32.07, beep. At the beep, the time will be 12.32.08, beep, and so on. Now it takes a fraction of a second for the beep to get to you. Light travels around one foot per nanosecond. To get your position to within a few feet, you're going to need nanosecond type accuracy. For now, let's imagine that our GPS unit has its own atomic clock synchronized with the ones in space. Knowing the precise time, the orbital elements, we know exactly where the satellites are. And by measuring the delay in the beeps, we know how far away they are. Listening to all the beeps would be like listening to row, row, row your boat, where all the singers are out of phase. For each second, there'd be a flurry of beeps, with the earliest beeps coming from the nearby satellites and the final beep coming from the most distant satellite. Imagine I knew I was 25,000 kilometers from a satellite. That would tell me I'm somewhere on a sphere with a radius of 25,000 kilometers centered on that satellite. Knowing my distance from another satellite gives me another sphere. So now I know I'm somewhere on the intersection of these two spheres. The intersection of two spheres is a circle. Think of two soap bubbles pushed together. A third satellite gives me another sphere which cuts that circle into two points. And four satellites let me know where I am. But that's not why we need four satellites. We could eliminate one of those two points. It's either moving really fast, halfway to the moon or inside the Earth. The reason we need four satellites is because we don't have an atomic clock. Being off a tiny fraction of a second, that fourth sphere would come nowhere near those two points. Your GPS adjusts the time until it gets agreement with all the satellites on your location. At that point, your handheld unit has nanosecond accuracy synced to the atomic clocks in space. Now you might have heard GPS won't work without taking into account both special and general relativity. Looking at YouTube videos on how GPS works, you'll see a lot of videos that say this. And there's a bunch that say that it doesn't need to be taken into, into account. And a lot of those are saying relativity is a hoax or a lie. Special relativity tells us that moving clocks run slow. The sat satellites are moving fast compared to us and Consequently, their clocks are running slow by 7 microseconds per day. General relativity tells us that clocks near gravity source run slow, like in the movie Interstellar. And the satellites are up above us, further from the Earth's gravity. And their clocks run fast by 40 microseconds per day due to that effect. Combining these two effects, the clocks run 38 microseconds per day faster than the ones on, on the Earth. Light goes over 10 kilometers in 38 microseconds. Would this be a problem? Well, it would certainly be a problem if we were using our own atomic clock, which would come out of sync with the ones in space. But we don't. We use the clocks in orbit. And they could be off by hours, and it wouldn't make any difference. But then there's these orbital elements that come to us, which tell us where the satellites are as a function of time. The satellites get their orbital elements from a team of people who work all the time on the ground using ground-based radar or what have you to track the positions of the satellites and compute fresh orbital elements to upload to the satellites. For that reason, relativity is a factor. In summary, 
GPS satellites don't know where you are. Your GPS unit doesn't transmit anything. It might transmit your location using the cell phone so the government can track you or so that traffic systems know where the heavy traffic is. But your, your GPS unit figures out where you are simply by listening to the satellites and using trilateration. Relativity is real and the clocks in space would run 38 microseconds per day too fast if they weren't slowed down specifically to account for relativity.